Hey YouTube, Mark from Advanced Electronic. Okay, I'm back. I have both of the cap banks connected in parallel still. I discharge them down to 13 volts. And we're going to go ahead and see how many watts the Schumacher charger over here uh, uses to charge the, uh, the cap banks. Just uh, to see how much it goes up to. The lower the uh, the voltages on the cap banks, the higher the, the wattage would be. So let's see what it's going to do when we plug this in and go ahead and charge. So uh, as soon as this kicks on, okay, it's charging now. And let's see what the uh, amperage goes up or the wattage goes up to. So it's going to remain somewhere around 35 watts. Okay. <clears throat> so before this, I was uh, powering a uh, 50 watt LED <clears throat> with a, uh, a DC to DC uh, voltage converter that uh, brought the voltage up for me. So what I'm going to do now that running at full bore was dropping down the value of these two caps about 0 0.01 seconds so one uh, millivolt I'm sorry uh, 10 millivolts every five seconds so now if we can charge one millivolt every five seconds with our radiant charger then we should have over unity um, what's going to happen is if, you know, that, that's a 50 watt LED and it still does, it, it doesn't say ice cold, but, um, at the frequency it's running at, it does get warm, but it's not as hot as if we plugged it in directly to an AC or DC, uh, voltage source without any pulsation, that thing would get rip roaring hot, it would be as bright as it could be instantly. And, uh, it's also using 50 watts of instantaneous energy the whole time. So when you pulse it, you can reduce that in half or in a quarter, um, but it's not as bright. With this system, uh, because we're running it just like off of batteries, it is just as bright. So let's go ahead. We're going to plug the radiant charger in and see if we can get more than 10 um, millivolts of charge <clears throat> per second or for five seconds. Let's see, oh, we're not. It would help if we're actually connected here. Let me disconnect this. Uh, these charger leads and connect the radiant charger leads. Sorry. Okay, so yellow is positive. And this one we can connect here, but... Okay, so let's see if we got connection here. Okay. Two, three, four, one, two, three four five so it's about the same <clears throat> so between four and five seconds for charge time versus discharge I'm actually faster so we would have over unity if we charge these banks we're charging faster than 50 watts of discharge using only 8.3 watts of input so we can probably get if we have one two three four so about four seconds to charge 10 uh, milliseconds we have an additional uh, tenth of a volt uh, we have a tenth of a volt more per uh, four seconds as we do in five seconds of discharge so we're uh, we're able to charge additionally probably use 60 to 70 watts uh, have that for over unity so when we build the other system we're gonna have uh, free energy coming out we just don't know exactly what yet I'm guessing about uh, 75 watts of energy additional so if we're picking up 75 watts we should be able to run 75 watts of continuous load without uh, discharging beyond what the charger can handle in the uh, amount of time used on the circuit all right thanks for watching